बी रेडी स्टार्ट आई एडमिट दैट हैंडी क्राफ्ट एंड कॉटेज इंडस्ट्रीज कैन फ्लरिश ओनली इफ सर्टेन कंसेशंस एंड फैसिलिटीज आर ऑफर्ड टू देम सो फार एज फैसिलिटीज आर कंसर्न द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज एक्सेप्टेड इन प्रिंसिपल to provide such concessions to these industries as are likely to help them without at the same time affecting adversely the bigger industries i should therefore think that the real problem is that the question of reserving a field for khadi and handloom industries Khadi has received some impetus by whatever direct help has been given to it by government consideration has also been given to the question of reserving a field for khadi and handloom industries so that the element of competition between handloom and mill made cloth is eliminated i think we have to extend this concession by reserving the fields for other cottage industries as well so that in those fields bigger industries are not allowed to operate till such concessions are given to cottage industries and as long as heavy industries are permitted to compete with them it is difficult if not impossible for cottage industries to grow but at present it is the bigger industrial undertakings which are being afforded facilities like concessional railway freights etc these are having a bad effect on the growth of village industries i am afraid the process has not only to be stopped but in some cases at least it has to be reversed let us understand it clearly that financial subsidies alone will not mean much for small scale industries i know that government has been helping the bigger industries to the tune of crores of rupees and to be able to do so it had to impose the burden of heavy taxation on the people take sugar for example to save sugar factories from the competition of foreign producers government has been subsidizing indian sugar industry for a number of years at the cost of many crores similarly steel industry in india has had to be subsidized heavily i see no reason why government should not extend similar help on the same scale to village industries when millions of people benefit from them and get employment because of them it is no argument to suggest that it is useless to manufacture an article on a small scale when the same article can be manufactured and offered at a cheaper price by bigger industries our hesitation to offer certain articles at a slightly higher price would virtually mean growing unemployment for millions and consequently forcing them to starve we have to choose between unemployment on one hand and a slightly higher cost on the other stop